atmosphere, this vibration, it's very close to each other. It's like a network of people coming here. It's not very isolated like the city. It's very gathered around, even the houses and the way that they were built. My great-grandfather, uncle, uh, bought uh, this house for his uh, nephew and he bought this house for him and for his mother. So this is the famous painted ceiling of the house. When was it done? Maybe with the time of my grandfather, because there is an older man and he told me his great, great grandfather painted their house and our house in the same time. A building archaeology is when you study a building and you write everything you know about it and you study it and you uh, document everything so it doesn't get lost in the history. We take the building itself and we study its history so that we know how people lived in the past, what were the designs of the houses, how they uh, lived their everyday style of living. I think uh, so it gives us a glimpse about our past so that we can learn for the present right now and the future. So I think it's extremely important. It's extremely important to document what we had in the past so that you know it's for the present and the future at the same time. Can hold it easily in one hand. I can do it, so you can do it. We learn a lot of things here in uh, this uh, this experience. We learn how to deal with the total station, how we do deal with the 3D scanner. What I learned here about the building archaeology, how do you can study the old buildings, how do you can discover the history of the elements, how it's bringing out the glimpses of the history to present this history to the other people after us, inshallah. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs>